welcome or welcome back to the channel. I am so glad that y'all are here. In today's video, we will be doing my Sephora haul. This is my first Sephora haul on this channel. However, I've been shopping at Sephora for many years. They've been getting my coins for many years, okay? So much so that I believe I'm about $30 away. Yeah, I think that's what the Sephora employee told me that I am about $30 away from becoming a Rouge member at Sephora, which is ridiculous. But you know what? <laughs> okay, you know, at least it comes with some perks, right? So I'm going to quickly get through the logistical items for those who are unaware. Right now, currently going on is the holiday savings event or VIB sale at Sephora, um, where if you are a certain tier member at Sephora, you will receive a certain percentage off of your total purchase at checkout. So the sale did start on October 28th and it goes through November 7th. Um, the Sephora collection is 30% off the entire time of the sale, but if you are a Rouge member, you will receive 20% off, and the sale started for you on October 28th, and will go through November 7th. If you're a VIB member like myself, you'll receive 15% off, and the sale started for us on November 1st and goes through November 7th. And then if you are a Beauty Insider, you will receive 10% off of your total purchase at checkout. And the sale will start for you on November 3rd and go through November 7th. So now that we've gotten through those details, make sure you know if you are looking for some you know, stocking stuffers or wanting to do some early holiday shopping or just stocking back up on some go-tos for you, now's the time to go while this sale is happening so you can get a discount and not spend so much money okay so let's go ahead and dive straight on into the haul so I didn't do too much I was trying to keep myself on a budget because I've got some other things coming up in life um, but I know that I'm probably gonna have some more hauls coming soon during Black Friday you know those different sales going on so in this haul today I've got um, a little bit of makeup, like very little, but I've got a little bit of makeup, um, but mainly kind of focused on skin products. And then I also have some hair products too, to go through. I guess starting out, I might as well do hair since I only have this. Um, so I did pick up the Olaplex Hair Repair Treatment Kit. So I've never actually used Olaplex but I've heard so many good things specifically on the number three. And that is what I originally went in for was to get the number three, which is the repairs and strengthening hair perfecter from Olaplex. But when I got there, I saw pretty much all of these around this size were $30 each. And it came in a kit. This is one of their holiday kits. That was $62. So I was like, Oh yeah, this is definitely a steal for me if I'm getting four of these and they were all $30. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up. So in this kit um, comes the number zero, which is the intensive bond building hair treatment. It's a two-step routine to use with the number three, so that works perfectly. And it's to prime the hair and intensify benefits for deeper repair and stronger hair. It also comes with the number three, which is the hair perfecter. That's something you can use weekly um, as a pre-shampoo treatment, so before you are to shampoo, and it'll help prepare and prevent damage, breakage, and split ends for your hair. And then last but not least, it comes with the number four and the number five, which are the bond maintenance shampoo and conditioner. I heard that the hair prefer the hair perfector works great with using the number four and the number five. That's not anything new, you know, with most hair brands, it always works best. You get the best results when you're using the, um, when you're using products from the same brand all the way through. So I felt like this would be a perfect time since I'm trying it for the first time to just use the full line of Olaplex products. So if you would like a video on this, leave a comment below and I'll try to record this for you, but I'm super excited to get to use this product here. I've only heard amazing reviews from all hair types too because I wasn't certain if this was necessarily for my hair, but I did watch a couple reviews and I've just heard great things. So I'm very excited to try and get into this. Okay, so that was the only item I got for hair care. I don't really get too much stuff for hair at Sephora. That's kind of what I have Ulta for, or at least that's I get most of my hair care products from Ulta or my beauty supply store. So that's all I got from Sephora when it comes to hair. So I'm going to move into skin products next. 
This next item is the Belief, Believe in True, True Cream. Y'all, it is bomb. Like, it's so good. Um, This is one of my, like, top moisturizers that I use for my skin. And I always have to restock. This is actually the medium size. I got it in the 50 milliliter, um, which is a 1.68 fluid ounce. Uh, container. Um, I normally get the large size, y'all. That's how much I love it. But the large size is around like $68, I believe. And so again, I'm trying to be on a budget. So I didn't get the largest size. But with this moisturizing balm, y'all, it's thick. And I like thick creams. It's thick. It's creamy. Um, the scent isn't horrible. I don't believe it's super strong from what I remember. Let me try. Mmm. No, it is kind of strong because I'm just thinking of people who really don't do scents and it definitely is, it, it has a scent to it. So if you're not a scent person, I probably wouldn't recommend this for you. But um, if you don't mind scents and you kind of deal with, you know, dry skin or me not medium, but normal to dry skin and you like thicker lotions, this is it. It's really good with hydrating the skin. I typically will use this cream on my face after doing my uh, morning routine or my nighttime skin routine. Then I'll finish it up with this moisturizer on my face. I'm gonna just show y'all kind of what that looks like on my finger and then on my hand. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I miss this stuff so much. I haven't had it in a while because, like I said, it's expensive. And, you know, you, uh, girls on a budget. I can't buy everything. I cannot buy everything. My skin just soaks it in and it leaves it so hydrated. And it leaves it soft and plump. And I just love it so much. I don't really, I'm not sure if you could tell too much, but. That's what it looks like after applying. And this is my hand without anything on. And that is with the cream. I really love it. So I'm so glad that I was able to pick that up during the sale, absolutely. And it does come in a travel size as well. So if the other two sizes are a little bit too big for you and you just want something to travel with, you can get it in a travel size. It'll be cheaper, of course, um, but it's, absolutely amazing. It is clinically proven to retain moisture for up to 26 hours. I don't know about all that. I just know that it definitely does moisturize my skin and I absolutely love it. This is a like a staple for me. Absolutely. If I can afford it, I'm getting it. <laughs> so I also got the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner with Rose Fruit Extract. It removes impurities and softens and it says lotion visage. I don't know if I said that correct. Hydration intense ale rose. Okay, I've seen this um, toner all over um, Instagram and on the Sephora website as well. So, like, if you all have uh, seen my other skincare videos on my channel, you know I love toners, um, and I love toners with rose. My skin loves it. I don't know. I don't know what to say, but like my skin loves it. And I'm really excited though to try this one out. Not only because I saw it on Jackie Ina's page, literally just the other day, I was already planning on getting this. But then when I saw that she had it too, I was like, oh yeah, okay, this must be good. Because she was using it actually to travel with as well. So it's like, if you're taking this on a travel, on a trip to travel with, it must be good. But um, there are actual rose petals in this toner, I think just for like aesthetic purposes, <laughs> um, but let's see here. It does say that it's a fresh rose deep hydration facial toner that softens the skin and refines the appearance of pores for a healthy looking complexion. It's infused with real rose petals. The gentle formula cleanses the skin, helping to clear it of um, surface debris, pollution particles, and residue residual impurities while leaving it feeling refreshed and prepped to receive the full benefits of the skincare ritual to follow. So it's got rose fruit extract in it. Um, that's great for toning properties, rose flower oil to help nourish 
angelica leaf extract, um, which is known to help retain moisture, and hyaluronic acid that helps attract and maintain moisture to enhance suppleness. So you'll use this after you cleanse your face. I plan to use this toner at nighttime in my nighttime skincare routine. So um, hopefully I can provide you all with an update on how this toner works for me. This is my first product I think actually using from the Fresh line. So if I like it, then I might have to check out more products on their line. But if you've tried this before, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know your thoughts, how it worked for you, or if there's any other toners that you would recommend. I love toners, so I'm all in. I'm all ears. Let me know. So really excited to try this out, and it's super pretty, too. I love the, the rose petals for that extra oomph. <laughs> So I also picked up the Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Superfood Cleanser by Youth to the People. I'm sure everyone has heard Youth to the People by now, especially this cleanser. <laughs> I think a lot of people have used this for a while or it's their holy grail. I've heard great things about it. So um, it's really like a green smoothie for your face is what I've heard. And we're all about getting the nutrients in, especially for the face, or at least I am. So, yo, yo, what did I buy? Oh, <laughs> I looked in here and I saw two things. So I was like, did I buy a duo set or like what? But no, it's just the pump. So the pump comes in the box for you separately. And then you get the cleanser with it. So it's very aesthetically pleasing. Like, if anyone likes ASMR, I do. Um, so like, I know some people find it cringe, so I apologize if you do, but um, it is in a glass bottle. It's in a glass bottle that I believe is recyclable as well, which is great about this company. Um, the the point is for when you're done with this cleanser to recycle it or turn it in, you know, use it for something else. I think I read even online that they recommend like using it for carrying your favorite nuts. They're just making up stuff now at this point. But I, I get the point. I get the point, you know, find another way to use it. Um, We're not wasting over here. So I'm really excited I had to try this superfood cleanser. Um, I want to say, I'm trying to think what all is in this. So it's a nutrient-rich gel um, consistency and is loaded with cold-pressed superfood extracts from kale and spinach to effectively cleanse skin, remove buildup remove buildup in pores and balance pH without drying. Um, so if you haven't been able to tell, I'm, I've am i been getting a lot of products that are hydrating because I do have normal to dry skin. And in the winter time, especially as you know, we're in the fall, we're getting into the winter time, I want to make sure I am feeding my skin with as much nutrients and hydration that I possibly can. And then also in the box came the Super Berry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask. I don't know. I haven't heard really much about this mask before. Um, it looks like it's just a sample though, so we might try it out. It looks like it has vitamin C and squalene hyaluronic acid. So we'll see if I try that or not. But I'm really excited to try this cleanser. And um, that'll be part of, I'll, I'll probably apply that at, the, at nighttime, um, probably cleanse with that. So that kind of has me moving into a skin slash makeup product as we're moving into the makeup products. I did also pick up the Super Berry Dream Cleansing Balm um, that has, I'm going to say this wrong, Maki, Maki and prickly pear hyaluronic acid um, that is flash melting formula. That is a flash melting formula. So it is 100% vegan too, but again, has the superfoods and the science um, included in there. And it is by Youth to the People as well. So I've been really looking into getting a cleansing balm, y'all. I haven't ever used a cleansing balm, so this will be my first one. Um, Oh, I like this. It says, I found myself in a dream when you open it up. That's cute. 
So yeah, I haven't really used cleansing balms ever. I typically just go in with my makeup removers and um, I, I go in and wash my face and then, you know, apply my makeup remover and kind of move that way. But I've really been wanting to get into and find a cleansing balm to remove my makeup, especially my mascara. That's what loves to stay on. I can always really get everything else off, but my mascara loves to stay on my lashes, y'all. And I've been looking like a raccoon when I'm taking it off because for whatever reason, you know, like my makeup remover, it just struggles to really break down um, those chemicals that's in the mascara or whatever. Um, whatever the ingredients are in the mascara. It struggles to break it down. So I'm really excited to try this cleansing balm here. Again, it comes in that glass bottling or glass packaging. wonder if it has a scent to it. No. It, there's like literally no scent to this. It just smells like wax, honestly. Does wax even have a smell? I don't know. It just like it smells like nothing but something. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe it smells like a crayon. It's not it's not anything like ooh, like it's not like that. So, um I think you could be able to stand it if you're sensitive to scents. But yeah, it just says to use dry hands, massage onto dry skin until balm has transformed into an oil on the face. Wet hands and continue massaging until oil um, emulsifies into a milk and then to remove you just rinse thoroughly with water so I sometimes see people using like paper towels and rags and stuff like that to remove the balm but I'm just gonna go ahead and try out what the directions say and the instructions say which is to just rinse off with water and hopefully um, that will work properly so I don't have to ruin my skin or anything like that but I'm very excited to try the cleansing balm. And I wanna say that the cleansing balm was around 30 or $34 as well. So a lot of things picked up are around that price point. It's just expensive out here. It's expensive out here in these streets, okay? Sephora is expensive, that's all I got to say. All right, so moving into some makeup products that I wanted to mention. So I did pick up the Laneige um, Lip Glowy Balm. So if you all had the chance to watch my morning skincare routine, which maybe I'll throw up here for you. I mentioned how I do use the Sleeping Lip Mask from Laneige. Um, I have it in the mango flavor and I absolutely love it so much. I don't use it as only a sleeping mask. I wear it all of the time. So because of that, I was like, I might as well go ahead and pick up the lip balm that's actually meant to use whenever throughout the day. Um, so I did get it in the berry flavor. Yeah, I got it in the berry flavor. There were like four other, I think, gummy bear, peaches, and... um grapefruit. I was between grapefruit and berry, but berry just kind of won my heart with the scent. I don't know if it tastes like anything, but um, it does have that little applicator like normal, and I'm very excited to use this. Yeah, so it just says your daytime solution to hydrated and tinted kissable lips. So if you weren't kissable before, you're going to be kissable after you apply this. At least that's what this packaging says. It doesn't exactly say that, but you get what I'm saying. <laughs> You'll be kissable, y'all. So make sure you get you some lip glowy balm. No, but I do hope that it is as great as a sleeping mask. Um, I didn't necessarily look at all the ingredients, so I'm not certain if it's the exact same as um, the lip sleeping mask, but I just knew I wanted to pick this up and try it out, so I'm very excited to use that. I also picked up the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, and I got it in the shade Butterscotch. So I actually have this um, concealer already in Chestnut, and I will use that 
Um, it's like chestnut is like a tad bit darker than my skin tone. So really it is kind of like a good summer shade for me, but I will go in and use that as kind of like a corrector or a reverse corrector, if you want to call that, call it that it's not, you know, like the typical orange that we would use on our skin color or that I would use on my skin tone, but I use it more so to kind of just cover up the dark circles under my eyes when I don't want to use an orange corrector before I go in with my lighter concealer um, to highlight. So I wanted to get the color Butterscotch that would actually be a highlighting shade for me. I love the packaging of this concealer. It's in that like glass frosted bottle with a plastic top and then that gold rim around it. I think it's so pretty. And I'm gonna say, yeah, it's a 0.45 fluid ounce. And this is kind of how the color is picking up. Let me see if I can, yeah, that's pretty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that'll be a good highlighting shade or under eye highlighting shade for me. Like I didn't want something too, too bright because I have other bright concealers. I kind of want to just use this. And then if I wanted a lighter under eye, apply something else on top of it. But yes, I do like this. This is like, this is almost like a shade lighter than my skin tone. This concealer is super full coverage, y'all. When I say full coverage, it's full coverage, at least for me. Yeah, ah, super coverage, okay. <laughs> yes, it is absolutely full coverage. Um, it gets the work, it gets the job done. Like, I love it. I did try using this as a foundation before, uh, I never did again. Um, I prefer just to kind of use it as a spot corrector or under the eye. So I'm going to continue to use it that way. But it is a really good con concealer, y'all. It does not crease um, too, too badly um, on my skin. And it is absolutely full coverage. Stays on throughout the day. It mixes well with other concealers. Um, I actually have it on today along with another concealer that I'm about to get into next but I absolutely love it and would highly recommend the Too Faced Born This Way concealer super coverage so getting into the next item um it is the Sephora best skin ever full coverage multi-use concealer and you've probably seen this all over um TikTok I think it was like TikTok famous or it went viral. I'm really not on TikTok, y'all. So I be finding this stuff out from my friends or people at the Sephora store, wherever. Um, but yeah, I guess it was like really popular on TikTok. I had actually just gone to Sephora one day and the lady helping me, I was, um, the lady helping me was wearing this concealer and I thought her under eye looked really, really nice. And so I wanted to pick it up for myself. And I do have it in the shade 31Y and I love it. So I do have it on today mixed with the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in chestnut. Um, I put chestnut on first and then I applied the 31Y on top just to get a little bit of a brighter under eye, but it is a really good concealer. I would highly recommend it. It is very good coverage. It goes on the skin very smoothly and it lasts, it lasts. And when I have used it with flash, it has not flashed back. So that's a very good thing as well. And it does say that it has a natural finish to it. It's long wearing and anti-pollution. Um, I would absolutely agree with all of that. It just melts very well within my skin and also does not crease too much after applying um, uh, under eye powder as well. So I would highly recommend getting you the Sephora Best Skin Ever concealer if you would like or if you're thinking about it. And then the last item I have for my Sephora haul, which is also a makeup product, is the Sephora Micro Smooth Multitasking Baked Face Powder. And I have it in the color 58 Almond. This powder, y'all, so, I mean, okay, what had been my powder for the longest was the MAC, um, 
skin finish. I think that's what it's called. Max skin finish powder. Um, but I ran out and I needed to get a new powder. And again, with the Sephora collection being 30% off, um, I definitely wanted to get my hands on that. It's pretty full coverage. Well, let me not say full coverage, but it has really good coverage to it. It's very smooth. So I'm just rubbing my finger there. I used it today, so that's why it doesn't look fresh out the package um, or in the package and everything. I did use it today for my makeup and I've used it a couple of times already actually because I did purchase this a little bit sooner before I got everything else and filmed this video and I have been really enjoying this powder. All right y'all so that wraps up this Sephora VIB haul or holiday savings event haul at Sephora. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did make sure you like this video and comment below. Your engagement really helps this channel to continue to grow and it does encourage me to continue to put out content like this that you all enjoy. So please make sure you do those little action items below. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, if you're planning on shopping this Sephora sales event, put in the comments below what's on your list. What are you gonna shop? I would love to know what y'all are doing. There's plenty of things that I didn't pick up this go around that I plan on getting come like Black Friday or other holiday um, sales coming down the line. So let me know what's on your list or things that you already purchased or you would suggest that I check out too. And I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. I love y'all and safe shopping. Bye.